If Avram is so great and he followed Hashem, why is Akadosh Baruch giving him tests? So difficult, taking his wife and, and testing with the children and everything else. Why is Hashem doing this then? Needless to say, why is Hashem testing us? Why does He give a person that's doing tshuva and doing everything problems with all types of things? Why is He giving you a test and you a test and you a test? Why? Why is He doing this to us? We already heard it in Parashat Noach in the Midrash. We already heard it, but we didn't understand it. The Midrash says that Akadosh Baruch Hu examines the tzaddikim, the righteous people, and He despises the wicked. And Rabbi Yonatan says, this is something that is part of the rules of the world that Hashem created. Hashem tests these tzaddikim. He loves them and therefore He tests them. And you compare it to a pottery, where the owner of this pottery tested. But the Chachamim say, wait a minute, wait, is, is, is this person that made this pottery, why, he just keeps tapping on all of his good potteries and the bad ones he just leaves them? No. Which ones does he do it to? The good ones. But for what? If he already knows they're good. Says the Ma'azu. The owner of the pottery, he's not testing it for himself. He's testing it for his customer. Customer came. Wants to buy this pottery. Pottery costs money. He says, listen, it's worth the money. I know it looks expensive, but this is the best. How? Let me show you. You could smash it with a hammer, nothing's going to happen to it. This is the best pottery there is. The customer is enamored by this. I'll take two. Such is the way of Hashem. Where Kadosh Baruch Hu wants the world wants the world to see how great his tzaddikim are. And therefore, he tests the tzaddikim, the righteous people, not for his own sake. He already knows their tzaddikim. But in order to publicly demonstrate their tzaddikut, their righteousness, so that people will understand why HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves them so much. Why these people are so special. So people can see that they're tzaddikim and learn from them. That's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu tests them. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu is testing you, it's simply a sign that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling you, I love you and I want other people to know I love you. But they need to know why do I love you. And then they'll see how you overcame these tests and despite the problems with Panasah and with divorce and with the kids and with the school and with the health and with the money and with the this and with the that, you stuck with me, you still went to shul, you still learned Torah, you still taught the Torah, you still di distributed all types of things to help people do tshuva, you still did everything. Ah, that's why Kadosh Baruch Hu loves him. And that's why Kadosh Baruch Hu gave him these blessings, the children and the wife and the this. And that Eventually everything works out. You see, oh, it's Avram Avinu. Yeah, Avram Avinu. Everybody knows Avram Avinu today. But if you would have seen Avram Avinu a few thousand years ago, about to be thrown into the fire, what would you have said? Ah, poor Avram. Today it's easy to say, oh, Avram Avinu, he's my forefather. Would you have said that back then? Probably not. Why? Because it looks like he was a loser back then. But he really was a winner already then. He was already a winner back then, but you didn't know it until HaKadosh Baruch Hu had him thrown into the fire. Until HaKadosh Baruch Hu made him sacrifice his son nearly. Until HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave him all of these texts. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing the same thing to you, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is still doing the same thing to all of us, what is he telling us? You are the descendant of Avraham Avinu. And just like I showed Avraham Avinu how much I love him, and therefore I tested him to show other people I love him, I'm doing the same thing for you. So why don't you say, I love you back to Hashem, and stop complaining. This Rabotai is one of the most important lessons that a person can learn when they're dealing with difficulties. Most importantly, dealing with difficulties that are really testing their faith. Testing their faith, it's very easy for the Yetzirah to tell you that you're making a mistake by following Hashem. But the truth is that if you learn from our Holy Torah, you'll know that there is no such thing as 
Hashem doesn't love you if you're doing the right thing. It's quite the opposite. When you're doing the right thing, Hashem will want to show you how much He loves you. And many times that's going to come in the form of tests. And if you withstand the test, eventually you'll merit to see the blessings. And the blessings of Hashem are unlike any other. Thank you.